It's known as one of the happiest times in a woman's life, the birth of her baby. But that's not the case for every new mom. Doctors say postpartum depression is on the rise. Want that other piece? Little Maeve is Brooke Wiesner's third child and most difficult pregnancy, born four weeks premature. I, I was pretty depressed pretty right, right afterwards. I didn't feel about her like the way I was, I felt like I should have felt about her. Two months after Maeve's birth. I had all of my kids in the car and I um, was like, I, I have to go to a doctor because I, I, I'm like, if my kids weren't in the car, I don't know, I might would drive it off the side of the road or something. Suicide accounts for about 20% of postpartum deaths and is the leading cause of maternal mortality in the U.S. That's why the first two FDA-approved drugs to treat PPD are literally lifesavers. The idea that we can get people better in a matter of days or weeks is uh, absolutely critical in this really delicate, imperative time frame. The first drug, Zorelso, requires a hospital stay and is given by IV for 60 hours. And now the FDA has approved a pill form, Sarzuve, that new moms can take over a course of 14 days at home. I see people who have dramatic changes in their mood, who at first don't talk about their family or their baby at all coming into the infusion and by the end are showing me photos. Brooke chose the IV version in the first 24 hours. I don't know, I was just like super hopeful. And then probably 48 hours, I like had no feelings of sadness at all. And now Brooke is back being an active, involved, loving mom to Piper, Cole, and Maeve. <laughs> My list stopped saying that word because my teeth. These two drugs are the first to specifically treat postpartum depression. Data suggest up to 95% of women never reach remission because their PPD was not recognized or was undertreated.